My most interesting experience as a writer was in 2008 when I went to Geneva to research a story for the Montreal Gazette on the upcoming start of the Large Hadron Collider. I spent a whole day at the CERN Research Centre meeting and interviewing physicists who were preparing the LHC for startup. The LHC is the largest and most complicated machine ever built. 2,000 physicists work to make the Large Hadron Collider run and to interpret the data it generates. The LHC is inside a circular tunnel about as big as a metro tunnel that's 27 kilometers in circumference. The tunnel is partly in Switzerland and partly in France and is between 50 and 125 meters underground. Inside the tunnel, there's a blue tube, almost a meter in diameter, containing 1,600 magnets that guide two beams of protons in circular paths inside two vacuum tubes, each about the size of a fire hose. The magnets that guide the beams are cooled by liquid helium to minus 271 degrees Celsius. This cooling is required so that the magnets can handle super large electrical currents. The two beams of protons are accelerated to 99.9999991% of the speed of light. They travel through the vacuum tubes in opposite directions and are brought into collision at four points in the 27 kilometer circuit where the four particle detectors are located. The collisions create a temperature thousands of times hotter than the center of the sun. The colliding protons are annihilated and the new particles are created. Enormous particle detectors track these new particles. The CMS detector, for example, is in a cavern as large as a cathedral and has as much steel as the Eiffel Tower. Each beam of protons has the energy of a 100-ton train traveling at 200 kilometers per hour. But if slowed down and brought to a room temperature, the packet of protons would be no bigger than one one hundredth of a grain of salt. While it's running, the LHC becomes highly radioactive because of what's called cyclotron radiation. No one can descend into the tunnels until long after the machine has been shut off. The LHC runs underground by remote control, sending information to the surface at the rate of one CD's worth of data per second. And here are three final fascinating facts. The protons cross the Swiss-French border 44,000 times per second. The magnets operate at a voltage of only 9 volts, the same voltage as the battery in a smoke detector, but at an incredibly high amperage. The daily electricity bill to run the magnets and the cryogenic system that keeps the magnets at minus 271 Celsius is, wait for it, $100,000.